What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? It's your boy, Real Good Doty, coming at y'all with another video. This evening, I want to talk about why the sinker game is so fucked, and I want to give you my perspective on why it's fucked. So the number one issue with the sneaker game is the bots. A bot, for those who don't know, is an automated system that is used to create a task prior to release. Now, the bot is something that people use to create multiple entries and they spend hundreds of thousands of dollars prior to release date for that item. Now, when it comes to Shopify websites or sneakers, the bot is put at the front of the line when the release happens of the shoe or any other item that you want that is profitable. And that's why it sells out so fast because the bots have first dips. The bots are put at the front of the line and it's very frustrating for someone who's a manual user myself. Now I have bought a bot before. Bots are something that you can use um, on pretty much anything that is profitable. They do work, but the more expensive they are, the higher your chances are of getting it. And now when I bought a bot, I didn't spend a lot of money. So therefore, I wasn't successful in it because I didn't really pay a lot of money. So how you can become successful is either you get a bot or you know someone that has a bot. Or you just suck it up like myself, pray to God, cross your fingers and hope that you hit manual. Number two is a lot of the shoes that are being released that you want that are profitable aren't being released in the local shoe stores. Those shoes that are, have a high demand because the supply is so low are only the shoes that you find at mom and pop stores or you find on sneakers or whenever they do collaborations on that website. Because you're not going to find those shoes on sneakers, JD Sports, Champs, Foot Locker like you used to. It's just not happening anymore. A lot of the corporations that are doing the collaborations don't want to give those businesses all that money. You know, it's, it's, it's more economic. It, it has to do with a lot of marketing. So it is what it is. It's frustrating. Hopefully one day, you know, they'll start having off-whites and, you know, Union to LA and local shoe stores, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. So that's the reason why the shoe game is so fucked. Number three is the raffles. Pretty much every release nowadays besides online on sneakers is a raffle now a lot of the raffles how you win is either they're getting backdoored or you have to give that business a lot of your money and when you give that business a lot of your money it hires your chances of getting that shoot because they know who you are so therefore since you're more of an asset to them they're going to take care of you and it's not fair for a lot of the people who, you know, don't spend a lot of money in those stores and they're not getting shoes or some of the people who are spending a lot of money and they're still not getting those shoes. It sucks. It's frustrating. It's dumb as fuck. I personally wish that they'd go back to doing first come first serve with the tickets instead of having people camp out because when people camp out, they don't know how to act. And that's how they were doing the releases majority of the time. But... They don't do that anymore. People didn't know how to act. So that's why they're doing the raffles online. Which leads to my number four reason is the backdooring. Backdooring is when an employer puts a pair of shoes to the side for either their friend, their family member, or someone who works for them. That, you know, that special employee. But what they don't understand is people talk. So a lot of the employees who aren't getting backdoored, they're upset because they're the ones who are putting in the work. They're the ones who are selling to that customer who you're backdooring. And they're upset. They're like, hey, you're not taking care of me. You're taking care of this person who doesn't even work. I'm the one who's putting in the work, selling to this person who's putting money in our businesses, like our corporation. You know what I'm saying? And... It just takes that one person that's not getting taken care of to go to your boss's boss and then now your boss's boss comes down on your boss and now he fucks around and gets fired and then that person who got fired, meaning your boss, tells one of the employees and then now they look at you and now you're labeled a snitch. So that's just another issue in the sneaker game and the reason why 
you know, it's just, it's just so chaotic and so fucked. So how do we fix this? Well, here's my solution. Instead of having people camp out because people don't know how to act and get rid of these bullshit raffles, they need to do a first come first serve. But a first come first serve in a sense of where you show up to the shoe store whenever it opens during the weekday, give them your information and they'll give you a ticket. That's what you need to do. That's how it should be. But instead, they're doing the raffles and things that sucks about the raffles that I forgot to mention is if you don't answer your phone when they call you, you don't get the shoe. They move on to the next person. And it's like, who the fuck has time out of their day to just pick up the phone whenever it rings? Not even people from home who work from home really have time to do that. And that's just fucking crazy that they're not willing to change that policy. It's like you win a raffle. Leave a message, let that person come in before or at the end of the day. And if they don't, move on to the next person. But that's something that they're not willing to change. And that's another reason why the shoe game is fucked up. It's just ridiculous, man. It's chaotic. They need to go back to how they used to do it. Let someone come in with the ticket. Do it first come, first serve. That's how it should be. Because if you let people come in whenever the shoe store opens during the weekday, the day that y'all get the shoe, and they'll run out of tickets, that's it. And whoever didn't come in and claim their shoes on the release date, let someone else come in first come, first serve. That's all you got to do. Anyways, guys, let me know what y'all think. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment. Follow me on Instagram, real good underscore Dodie. I love y'all. Have a good evening. I'm out.